Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back, Plant Abundance here. Hope you all had a wonderful, long, relaxing holiday weekend. We sure did around here, enjoyed the company of family, ate really well, had some downtime. So I'm back out here in the garden today on this 27th of November, 2017. We're having a absolutely beautiful day after some rains came into the area. As you can see, lots of blue sky, we got some sunshine, and the garden is doing exceptionally well this late in the season. We've got a lot of production still occurring back here. Pretty exciting stuff. But I'm actually getting ready to move a wood chip pile. I got 10 more yards of wood chips delivered here. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years for moving these wood chip piles. After having received and processed over 30 plus loads of wood chips, transferring that from the front to the backyard through a wheelbarrow, I could tell you I've developed some techniques and some ideas that I think will be helpful for anyone who's thinking about bringing wood chips into their garden. So this here is a 10 yard pile of wood chips and a motivated individual could move this from the front to the backyard using a wheelbarrow in probably five to six hours or so. You can spread that out over a couple days if you want. But this here is primarily pine wood chips and actually this is mulch It's mixed in with the pine needles and the rest of the tree. And through the years I've received several different loads of wood chips just like this. So if you're concerned about pine wood chips or mulch having an aleopathic effect in the garden, I tell you that hasn't been my experience whatsoever. So the first thing you're going to want when moving these wood chips around is a good pair of quality work gloves. You're going to be doing a lot of hands-on work here. You don't want any blisters or cuts so don't skip on that. The next thing you're going to need is a dust mask of some sort. This is a cloth dust mask and I recently went out and purchased an even higher quality finer particulate respirator. And this one's really cool because it has a couple different places to snap on replaceable filters. So I had bought this in preparation for my next load. But one of the best things that you can do to keep all the dust and particulate down is to actually let your wood chips become fully saturated with water. So if you get a load in the winter, allow it to get rained on for a few days, it's going to really keep all that fine particulate down. Now you're going to need something to move these wood chips back and forth. I highly recommend using a wheelbarrow. This one here has a nice deep tray or a bed. And if you can get one with some metal handles on it, it's one of the best investments you ever make as a gardener. I've used this particular wheelbarrow to move all the different loads of wood chips. It's held up wonderfully, so look into the metal handle wheelbarrows. Now for scooping up the wood chips, there's a couple different tools I'd recommend using. Here on the left, we've got something known as a scoop shovel. This is a small handled shovel. And what I like about it is you're able to get quite a bit of wood chips out of each scoop, so it really makes quick work out of moving this pile. The downside to it is that because of the flat edge, you really have to target the pile from the bottom. If you try to go at it from the middle or the top of the pile, it's like hitting a wall. So because of that, you're constantly bending over and scooping, which can end up causing some pain to the lower back. That's why I prefer to use my bedding fork most of the time. Now the bedding fork has tines on it that will allow you to easily go in at the pile from any direction. That smoke you see, by the way, is actually steam. It's not dust. The pile is a little bit hot. It's been sitting here for a couple days. But this tool also has a nice long handle on it for better leverage. And you're also taking smaller bites out of the pile with each scoop so there's less weight to deal with. Well, I think that about covers it. Those are the tips and tricks that I've learned throughout the years. Now, there's a lot of different folks moving these wood chips these days. So if you're watching this video, if you've got any other ideas that you want to include, go ahead and drop a comment below this video. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. New uploads every week, updating you on all the different projects going on around here. Love to have you along. And so with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.